Hello, welcome back again to Xfinity. Today I will show you NVIDIA control panel best settings for Photoshop 2022. In this video, we will apply best settings in NVIDIA control panel and NVIDIA GeForce Experience to maximize the usage of a GPU while editing photos in Adobe Photoshop. So let's see the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Photoshop in detail. Alright fellas, welcome back again to Xfinity and in this video we are going to see the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Photoshop and this video is going to be very very important because it is going to optimize the Adobe Photoshop to its maximum performance. So let us dive straight into this. All right, fellas. So first of all, you need NVIDIA GeForce Experience. In order to download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you need to visit the link in the description and download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Once you have downloaded the GeForce Experience, once you have successfully uh, downloaded the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you need to go to search and here you need to write NVIDIA. And now you can see two options here, NVIDIA Control Panel and NVIDIA GeForce Experience. First of all, we need to dive straight into the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. All right, fellas. So once you are right inside the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you need to dive straight into the drivers. And once you are right inside the drivers, you need to click these three vertical dots and you need to select the studio driver. Why we need to select the studio driver? Because it is optimized to, to give the best experience for the creative apps. And the creative apps are Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects and Adobe Illustrator and many other Adobe series. So this studio driver is important if you are using the Adobe creative apps. And if you are unable to see the studio driver here, your graphics card may not support the studio driver but in that case you can go with the game ready driver but i recommend to use studio driver so once you have selected the studio driver you need to make sure you have the latest version of the nvidia studio driver for that you need to click on this button check for updates and make sure you receive this message you have the latest nvidia studio driver all right fellas so now we are done with the nvidia geforce experience settings and now we need to dive straight into the nvidia control panel for this i will again go to search and i will write nvidia and now i will click nvidia control panel so once you are right inside the nvidia control panel you need to go to adjust image settings with preview which is the first option in 3d settings and you need to select use the advanced 3d image settings once you are done with this you need to go to configure and it is uh, asking for applying the changes you need to click on yes you need to uh, find this option and it says the processor which processor needs to be used and we need to specify the processor of our graphics card for example i have uh, nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti and uh, if you see the graphics card uh, name here you need to select that because we are going to force the nvidia control panel to use the processor of the gpu not the cpu so once you are done you need to dive straight into the manage 3d settings and this setting is very very important you need to watch this very carefully by default you have two options global settings and the program settings you can apply the settings in the global settings but I recommend to use the program settings because in the global settings the settings is applied to all the creative apps but we need to apply to a specific that is Photoshop. If you want to see the NVIDIA control panel settings for Premiere Pro, After Effects and Media Encoder you can also watch these videos too. I have made everything in detail. Alright fellas, so once you are right inside the program settings, you need to select a program to customize and you need to click on this drop down. Once you click on this drop down, you need to search or find Adobe Photoshop. And if you are unable to see this, you can also add your program. For example, I am going to add this. If I am not able to see the program in the list, you can see option. This is uh, I cannot find the program and you need to click on browse. Once you click on browse, I will tell you the default location of the Photoshop. You need to go to PC, local disk C, program files, Adobe. Now you need to uh, select the Photoshop version, which is 2022. And after that, you need to select the exe file application, which is Photoshop. If you double click on this, 
it will be directly opened into the drop down and now we need to apply the graphics card settings to the photoshop all right as you can see the image scaling and the ambient occlusion is uh, not supported for this application because we are going to edit the photo and it is going to make a mess so that's why we have anitropic filtering and this needs to be at maximum if you are watching or noticing the dots or the gamma values or you can see too much noise in the photos you can lower this value to 4x or you can also leave it to application control if you are messing with the photos while you are editing photoshop but i recommend to use 16x because it is going to make your image very sharp so in the anti-aliasing fx double a you need to select this as on in the anti-aliasing gamma correction you need to select this on in the mode you need to select override any application settings why because we are going to use the anti-aliasing mode of that application not conflicting with any other application and in the settings you need to select 8x once you're done with the settings you need to go to transparency and you you need to select 8x which is super simple it is going to make your images very sharp especially the 3d images and for the maximum frame rate you need to select this as on and keep it at its maximum if you are making a photo manipulation that is uh, in the motion or the motion graphics uh, the photoshop can use this frames rate if your uh, computer uh, sports this kind of frame rate so that's very important you need to maximize the frame rates and you need to click on ok and this is the very important setting which is CUDA GPUs you need to select this option and you need to specify use these GPUs and you need to select your graphics card and click on ok for the low latency mode you need to select this as on do not go with ultra because it may you may face some kind of uh, limitations in the frame rates if you go with the ultra it is going to optimize your gpu that's why i recommend to use on that's fine for the max frame rate you again need to click on on and keep it at its maximum and click on ok for the multi frame sampled you need to select this as on and this uh, setting is also very important which is open gl rendering gpu you again need to select your graphics card as i have 1660 ti and uh, this power management mode is also very important because we are going to have the best performance so we are going to select prefer maximum performance it is going to utilize your battery obviously and this option is for your uh, uh, monitor if you have a high frame rate monitor or refresh which uh, which offers 160 plus hertz of refresh rate you can have the highest value but i don't recommend to change anything here and for the texture filtering you need to click this as on again if you are facing too much noise in the photos you can uh, click this as off and for the negative low bias you can you need to select clamp and now texture filtering quality should be at its higher performance or if you want to have the very good looking pictures in the photoshop you can select the high quality but for the high performance it will maximize it will not lag but if you select the high quality it will lag and but the quality will be very high so you can go with high quality and you can adjust this uh, uh, quality depending upon your gpus and your cpu or your ram for the trilinear optimization you need to click this as on make sure the threaded optimization is not turned off you need to click on this uh, on because it is going to use the multiple cpus while you are uh, using the photoshop and for the triple buffering if you are using the photoshop obviously it will use nvidia graphics card you need you need to select this as on and for the vertical sync you need it, this option is used to synchronize the application frame rates with the, your monitor frames rate so that's very important you need to use the 3d application settings if you are using for the virtual reality you can also adjust this as one two three or four all right fella so that was the settings of the adobe photoshop and for this you need to click on apply because you are going to save your settings that's very important once you click on apply you need to close this nvidia control panel and congratulations you have successfully configured your nvidia control panel for adobe photoshop for maximum performance and uh, if you face any kind of issues or if you face any kind of difficulties you can comment down below in the comment section and again your photoshop will be much faster as compared to the previous one 
and you will see the high quality photos in the photoshop while you are editing or you can contact me on the instagram or whatsapp thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day